Hello, my dears. It's Miss Ward. So you just got finished watching Rainbow Fish. And what did Rainbow Fish do that was so special? He gave away his special, shiny, beautiful scales. So we're going to make a Rainbow Fish today that's got beautiful, shiny scales. And you will get to take your Rainbow Fish home um, this afternoon. So you're going to get, in just a minute, a piece of paper that looks like this you will get either a pouch or a baggie and in that pouch or baggie will be very pretty little tissue papers okay these were bleeding tissue papers which means when you get them wet the colors bleed together so i have saved these from a project from a couple of years ago um, and you can see they have um, different colors on them so you'll get a little stack of those and you will also get a little piece of foil okay so that will help us make our beautiful shiny scales you are gonna need a glue stick okay we do not need scissors for this project you just need a glue stick and um, your sharpie okay so the first thing you get to decide is whether your fish is pointing to the left or you can flip it around and your fish can point to the right. It really doesn't matter, okay? Whichever way you decide for your fish to turn is up to you. So the first thing I need for you to do though is to write your name at the bottom. The next thing you're gonna do is give your rainbow fish a face very quickly. Um, and because this is a side view of a fish, you're only going to draw one eye because we're looking at the side instead of looking at the fish from the front. So um, in this area right here, okay, so this will be where you draw the eye. Um, fish have pretty big eyes, so I'm going to draw a circle. It's a good shape. And then I'm going to draw another circle inside for a pupil. And I'm going to add a little highlight, which is just a little shape where it's going to stay white, like the light is hitting it. It's like a glare. And I'm going to color in the rest of that circle. And if you would like to get real fancy, you can put a design around the eye as well. Okay, so remember, because this is a side view, you're only going to do one eye. And then whatever kind of mouth you want to do is up to you, okay? And I'm just going to do a little line for a mouth, but you can do whatever you feel like doing, okay? So there is our fish's face. Now, these are fins. This is a tail fin. We're going to be working in the body area in just a minute to make our, um, our scales. So that's where all these little papers come in. So what you're going to do is when you get your pouch in just a minute or your baggie, take your tissue papers out and I want you to stack them all together and I want you to tear them not into huge pieces but we don't want them to be teeny tiny either. Okay, so just tear all together Okay, so I got six pieces out of mine and then you can kind of separate them. Because Remember we had stacked them and that will make it fast for us to just tear them all at one time. So you have all of these little pieces now, okay? I need for you to tear your foil into pieces also. Again, remember not teeny tiny because they'll be hard to work with and hard to glue, okay? So we've got a little stack of that, little stack of your tissue paper. So what you're gonna do is we are going to be gluing these pieces of tissue paper and the foil into the body only. We are not putting stuff in the fins, the dorsal fin, the pectoral fin, the tail fin. We are not putting the tissue paper in there because these are supposed to be like scales and fish don't have scales in those areas. So we're not putting this in those spots. Now I have a purple glue stick. Whatever kind of glue stick you have is fine. I like purple on camera because you can see it on the paper. So you are just going to put some glue and just do it in one section at a time. Okay, so just a little bit of glue and then I'm actually gonna just touch my finger to the glue and you'll see why because these tissue papers are kind of hard to pick up. So I'm just gonna use my finger to pick up and place the tissue paper. So again, I'm gonna use my finger 
to pick up and place the tissue paper. So you keep doing that and when you have filled up the spot that has your glue, then put a little bit more glue in the body and you keep going and going and going. And let's do tissue paper, fill all that in, and then you'll go back after you fill in all of the tissue paper and you'll do some foil pieces on top. Okay, now make sure that your tissue paper is not stuck together in one clump, that you're just getting one piece at a time. Do you see how that all stuck together? So I'm just gonna take my hand and just get that off. So I'm just holding one piece of tissue paper and then you smooth that out. And you just keep going, picking up pieces of tissue paper and putting them down into the glue until it looks like this. And then you can see I put foil pieces on top of the tissue paper. But remember, we are not doing anything in the two fins up here and the tail fin, because remember, those areas don't have scales, okay? So you finish filling in, and then after you have filled in the body, then you can add designs and you can add some background, okay? So I'm gonna move all these little pieces out of the way and just show you real quick um, what I did. So all I did down here around my name is I drew some rocks and I drew some seaweed and I did some bubbles um, and I added some little like lines in my fins because um, fins if you look at them have like bone in them so that's what those little lines are supposed to be is like the little sharp parts of the fin okay so you keep going with your gluing um, by the way too when you need to add foil, like let's say I wanted a piece of foil right here, I'm just gonna rub glue on top of my tissue paper and then with my finger, pick up a piece and just lay it on top, okay? So again, make sure that you put your tissue paper pieces down first and then on top of the tissue paper pieces, that's where you'll put the foil pieces. And remember, we're not putting anything in the head, the fins, um, or any of those areas because these are supposed to be scales and fish don't have scales in those other areas. Hope that makes sense. I can't wait to see your fish.